Hello and welcome to Failure and Analysis. My name is Kevin Jordan and we're here to watch Asmongold play the new player experience in Shadowlands Alpha. We're going to try and make this a quick video so get popcorn, set your timer for four hours and hopefully I'm gone before then. I'm going to try not to focus on his chat too much which is always hilarious but uh, yeah let's just get down to the nitty gritty. I've played through this experience so I'm going to add my commentary along with it as well. Buckle up. All righty, gentlemen. Let's try out the new uh, the new thing. You are a soldier of the Noble Alliance, a coalition of nations descended, de dedicated upon hol holding, okay, ha uh, hailing a human kingdom of Stormwind. You follow in the footsteps of valiant knights, cover sorceresses. It's too fast, man. A mission led by Captain Victoria Garrick has set sail from Stormwind City with you abroad. What's going to happen? Oh. Wait. Oh, that's me, dude. I don't know. For a finalized version of the cinematic, that's not really that good. Wait, I can't jump off. This sucks. Where's the whale sh <laughs> His first thought is to try to exit the experience. Sharks. <clears throat> oh, this place is fucking awesome. Dude. Where am I? Alright, first comment. This is why this thing. Dude. Where am I? Where am I? Right? So MMOs, three pillars, game, world, social setting. Those are the three pillars that MMOs are built on. Anyone can make a game, right? Anyone, well, not anyone, but that's what most people try to do. MMOs have those other two pillars. A lot of games have social elements, uh, but nothing like an MMO. You live and breathe in these societies. You exist in them. Um, sense of world, right? It's a big world, it has its own things that are like a world has a has a 24-hour clock like our world it lives it's breathes people move around there's an economy there's an ecology there's there's communities there's you know different zones have different feels right like those are all parts of you know making a world and that's what's so different about an mmo as opposed to um a game like diablo or a lot of the modern day M mmos that you just zip around through zones. They're just zones that you teleport back and forth through or instances that you teleport back and forth into. You play your game and you're done, right? They're not set in a place that you understand where it is. They're not, it's not a seamless thing. So the first giant failure already is the, from this question right here, where am I? This is your first moment where you enter into the world. This is the start of your character's journey. It's the start of his story. It's the start of his collective experience that you're going to share consciously and, and subconsciously with everyone else you meet, right? And as you play out, play out your character's journey in your player experience, and you have no idea where you are. This place does not exist on the current map. This isn't a place you can come back to, I don't think, after you're done with it. Uh, it's not set in the real world, right? That is a giant failing because it makes the whole part of that experience disposable. Um, contrasted to classic or vanilla WoW, you start in a place that is on the map. You start in a place that is surrounded by your race. Um, and it's set in the proper location. If you know you're a dwarf, it's a coal ridge, you know, valley. Um, you know, it's 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 in a place that's thematically connected to your your past, your characters, your races, like uh, place in this world. It's a place you can visit again. Um, it's the it's the true start of um, your your whole experience. And so this is a giant failing for that pillar, right? You could argue that it makes for a better game experience because they're, it's a localized tutorial. It's very, you know, bite-sized. It's trying to teach you specific things. But again, it's like sometimes the game element has to take a notch 
down in order to make sure that those other pillars are nice and healthy. It also fails socially because as you're gonna see, um, you might run into other people, but they're of all different races. And so there's no, there's no cultural like connection. And as soon as you leave this, ex this disposable experience, you all go to your main cities at the end of it and you'll never see those people again. Even if you made a friend here um, by some miracle, <laughs> you, uh, how would you connect with them afterwards, right? Whereas in classic, it, the, the starting experience where you might make a friend in that first cave or running around killing wolves is gonna, is gonna bleed right into the next experience because you're with that guy, you're on that guy's quests you know, you're, you're together and you can, you can find yourself playing with that guy for hours and hours. Right. So, uh, it, this thing, this experience fails two of the core pillars right out of the gate. <clears throat> this place is really cool. Okay. It's like Borean Tundra. Yeah, I guess so. It's in Narnia? Who's this guy? Alright, perfect. Oh, let's go inside. And, Narnia. okay, there's a little bit of fish down here. Do a little hop. I can't quite get over there. Okay. Oh, dude. I, I Never mind. I'm not going to say it. Alright, so... Prepare yourself, mauled. We're nearing the island where the previous expedition was lost. Warm up on these combat dummies. We need everyone ready for whatever we find on that island. Warm up by fighting a combat dummy. I need everyone in top form if we're to complete this mission. Okay. Show me what you can do. This is to test you so you're ready to do the in-game LFR content. Good. Good. Next. Hmm. That's odd. We weren't expecting rain. Hmm. Is it a kraken? Ooh, is it a Kraken, dude? It better be a fucking Kraken, dude. I want a Kraken. Good, looks like you kept up on your warrior train during our voyage. Uh, absolutely. How convenient this happened at the same time that I finished the quest. Uh, I'm concerned about the sudden turn in weather. Really? Why Why be concerned about that? I'm sure it's not going to do anything, right? Um, Cole's report will determine uh, where we'll place you on our initial expedition team. Okay. Oh, wow, that gave me almost a full bar, or full level. <coughs> Private Cole, you will run through the test drills. I need to discuss this storm with the helmsman. Okay, let's follow her first. Yeah, they're social distancing. They can't talk to each other. Okay, let's go <laughs> back over. I hope this rain isn't a bad omen. Oh, I'm sure it won't be. Uh, I was counting on uh, this being a simple rescue mission. You'll be sparring with me. Uh, we'll have to make sure that you won't run at the first sign of danger. Let's see what you've got. I missed that the first time. The writing, it really is pretty bad. Um, it puts you in a pretty bad setting. I mean, the whole preposterous idea of, oh, we sent out some scouts and they're, they ran into some problem that was too much for them. So let's send the newest recruits we can find to go save them from their predicament, right? Um, and then that comment of, oh, I, I was hoping this would be just a simple rescue mission, <laughs> right? It's just like, oh, is there such a thing, right? It's just so ridiculous. Oh, shit, I gotta get away, man. All right, I'll see if I can get a charge in. Oh, I can't. Okay. Boom. Boom. Human always face your enemy. Okay. That's easy. Oh, I just... All right, I just completed it anyway. I was gonna duel somebody and then fight him, but I guess that's not gonna work. I have to find a way to kill myself on the ship. How can I kill myself on the ship? Can I take fall damage here? Okay. He did it. He did it. <clears throat> it's a work in progress. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Oh shit! If you unstuck Oops. while on the tutorial ship, it puts you on Exiles Reach Island. Okay. What can I do as a way to get around this? There's gotta be a way I can get around this. This world is a prison. <laughs> yeah, apparently. Recruits will get through this. Alright, I think he restarted. Speed run strats, yeah. We're on the island now, aren't we? Yep. Oh. Oh. Okay. <laughs> So I'm, I'm shipwrecked. McConnell read the And insane. I guess the captain's still alive. Thank the light. Are you injured? No, I'm not. Recover six first aid kits from Murlocs. Murlocs but the are quest dangerous text. in large numbers. Take back our supplies, but avoid fighting too many of them at once. Okay. So I'm already level three. This thing must be really fast. Is it even... Bro, I'm literally killing your friend. Yay. Yeah. Bro. Thank you, Chris. Oh, okay. I accidentally autoed him. Okay, never mind. He doesn't give a shit. All right, let's go turn these two in. Yeah, I also had this problem. Murlocs are one of the first um, things in, in WoW back in the day that people hated because of their group swarming, their speed and their aggro radius. And um, and their go get help, you know, AI, which was common amongst humanoids. Um, so I'm sad to see them not not be aggro they're neutral not be malicious not help each other is a yeah i feel like they use the wrong i feel like they use the wrong they diminish the murloc you know feel the murloc legend <laughs> by uh, uh using murlocs in this tutorial sad about that that could just be me and my old man get off my lawn you know kind of thing Back in my day. So, let's talk to her. Did you recover the first aid kits? Excellent work. Let's get the survivors back on our feet. No problems with that quest. Use the first aid kit on Rally a Dream Chaser. Okay, I just have to use it on these. And I don't have to... Oh, so I guess this teaches you to actually use the ones instead of just clicking on their body. That's mm -hmm. interesting. Okay, leave the pander in. Yeah, we're just going to leave her dead. Sorry, guys. We can't level up anymore. Can you use hair wounds? Uh, let me see. Uh, no. Uh, apparently you're not able to. I could go buy them, but I I I'll do it the normal way. Emptied first aid kit. Alright. Search each of the new nearby camp and the expedition survivors. Okay. Let's go over here. You three, scour the island for any sign of the expedition. Recruit, you and I will scout ahead. <clears throat> oh, we're going together. Nice. She's my girlfriend now. Okay, let's turn in the quest. Just, just let's so hungry. Everyone else taken. Please get me food. Kind to those Alrighty, uh, get five raw meats. Yeah, the music is good. I, I agree. Oh, oh, oh! I there's can. a chest. He's my son. But more than that, he's okay. a soldier of the Alliance. We leave no one behind. Wait, Henry knew. Oh, Henry knew. I don't know who the fuck Henry is. Okay, let's move on. Wait, this dude's gonna take my chest, bro. Bro, Roger, man, bro. Making friends. I love that. I had that experience, too. Um, it actually sparked a conversation. The guy apologized. He was like, oh, sorry, I thought it worked like in retail where you could both get the chest, you know, blah, blah, blah. It was, an, it was, an, it was a social experience. He's having the opposite one right now where he's being the WTF guy, right? But it's still a social experience. So, you know, one up those chests that can only be looted by one thing. That is a good thing in this in this zone. I like it. Well, fuck you. Yeah, uh, there's only a few abilities I have. Now I have hamstring. OK, great. So overall, I mean, first, like really just like super first impressions. This is fine, I guess. I mean, there's nothing really wrong with it, uh, which is, I mean, that, that's positive, I guess. 
All right, let's. I'm gonna have to disagree there, but um, yeah, like I I don't expect a new player, right? An uh, sorry, not a new player, but a a player who's been playing for ten years, right? Um, to play through an experience designed for a brand new player, designed well for a brand new player, and be like, oh, this is amazing, you know, like that's okay right like because they they're beyond that point right they're experts at the game they know how everything works they're gonna feel that checklist right like i talked about the checklist um a little bit before where it's like okay we're gonna teach the player how to kill get a kill count quest done we're gonna teach them how to collect a thing get that done we're gonna teach them how to use a quest item on an interactable object uh we're gonna teach them what it's like to transform into something, how to ride a vehicle. We're going to, you know, like that, that was one of their goals for like the modernizing the new player experience was we're going to, we're going to show off all the new bells and whistles we have with the quest system essentially and phasing and all that stuff. Right. Um, but, and, and that's that sense of game, right? That's like, let's teach players the game, but, it also can feel pretty formulaic, right? It certainly feels formulaic to me, but I, but I understand the process, right? So it's it, it's there's it's probably no way to avoid that, and it and a very experienced player is also going to see that formula, right? And he even mentioned it early. Oh, they're teaching me how to do this, right? Um, but uh, what what shouldn't be lackluster is the sense of wonder, like the new zone, the you know. The atmosphere, um, the story should feel pretty good. Um, you know, there's a lot of things that should still pull people in, right? But yeah. Let's see, so now I have to cook her food. Wait, oh wait, just to, uh, of course I do. Uh, I mean, first, why? Delaria. I mean, she's hungry. Of course I have strength. to cook her food. Yeah. Arcanon Boros. Uh, of course. All right, please. I need some food. Uh, Alaria quickly eats the meat that you cooked. All right. Uh, by the light, I feel so much better. Uh, you need to keep moving. Quilbor have kidnapped the expedition, including Captain Garrick's son. Do not lose okay. Me. Uh, Alaria mentioned Quilbor have taken this missing expedition, which includes my son. Quilbor are aggressive and smart. No, they're not. Uh, they'll kill you if you're not prepared. I need to make sure that I'm not sending you to your death. We're going to have one last sparring session. The Quilbor will be your strongest opponents yet. Okay. Recruit, Quillbor are far deadlier than Murlocs. You need to be ready for the dangers ahead. But are they really? But are they really? Is this a necessary evil now that... It kind of bothers me that if you read the quest text, the, pl the, the NPC then says the voice line that reiterates what's in the quest text. Is that... Is that just a necessary evil now? Like because no one reads the quest text. Can we polish that up? <laughs> uh. hmm. Let's okay. think about that one. That was easy. All right, I used all my abilities. Slam, okay. Char well, why would I want to charge her? I can wait for it to come off CD. Okay, there we go. All right. Now what? I'm just gonna kill her, man. I'm gonna kill her. I'm the captain now. One last time, charge. Can I kill her? Okay. Wait, yeah, yeah. She's not knocking me back. I can kill her now. What a sec. I'm coming. I'm coming. Come on. She's using the force. Okay, I'm just gonna charge it. Okay, good. You're ready to face the cool board. Let's get our people back. All right. I wasn't sure, sure if I was quite prepared, but now that I've done the, the third charge, I'll be ready. Her character portrait's bug. Uh, wait. Look at her head. <laughs> look at her head. Perfect. Okay, fine work. Let's speak with Laria and find out what to do with her cool board. Okay, um, 
Cold War kidnapped the rest of the expedition and took him to the north. I heard the Cold War mention something about needing more sacrifices for a ritual. Please, if you need to rescue an expedition, Captain Garrick's son was part of our group. He swore his mother would come back to save us. Okay. Great. Scout northward and find Austin Hawksworth. We'll head north and rendezvous with the others. Mommy. Alaria, well, let's go. Recover your stamina before pushing forward. What are you going to do? <laughs> oh my god. A social experience. God bless this person. Who is this person? Something like, I don't know exactly. Up on any member of the alliance. I'm not about to start by failing. Oh, it's myself. Roger. He's level five, man. I'm gonna Battle fucking master. lose. Okay. Nice. The, the things are attacking him because he used the Earthbind totem, and so he's aggroed the Quilbors. Wait, he's he- wait. What the hell? Nice. Oh, I, I can't stop the heals, dude. He's just gonna heal a full. Well, he's gonna- he's, he's dead, dude. He's 100% dead, dude. He's already 50% mana. He's gonna fucking die. He's out of mana? How did that happen? Wait, no, now he's reading. He's trying to regen. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Let me hit him here. All right, all right. I've got to go in for for charge to get more rage. So he has to use more mana. He's got cool bores on him. Come on, 19% mana. Dude, healing, man. <laughs> Damn, thank you for the subs, the gifted subs. I really appreciate it. How you doing? That was good. Uh, that was good bloodlust for his duel too. I think he might win this. Oh, he's fucking dead. He couldn't. He couldn't heal forever. Uh, over here, so he doesn't want to be on stream anymore. He's fucking afraid. Uh Again, amazing social experience. Now, imagine if he could, like, interact with that person after this whole experience, right? That's his first, like person of note in the game right that's a relationship he's already formed um based on that guy trying to do something funny and that that relationship's going to come to an end as soon as this experience is over um over here the quilbor are conducting some sort of ritual mm, gray mane will lead us to victory really like are you sure about that <laughs> uh all right down with the quilbor and now I have to get all seven of them. Alright, great. Let's go. There's a fucking rare, dude. I'm going for him. Where's the rare? I I'm killing the rare. Get before he gets it. Bro, he's going for the rare, man. There it is. O Ogre Overseer. Okay, fuck. Alright, we're gonna have to work together. This is a dangerous beast. <laughs> There it is. Nice. Easy game, dude. What an easy game, dude. That was all me, by the way. That was, that was totally me. So I'm already level... So I love, I love it. I love that he's found a guy, and the guy is interacting with him, and they're actually, like, in meaningful ways. This is amazing. This is how things should go down. So, uh, more stuff like this, right? Gray guys that are a little bit more challenging is a great thing. We get to the bear later on. I'll talk more about that. Um, but yeah, this is great. They don't have to team up. That's one of the big problems with the experiences. And it's a tutorial, so they might feel like they don't have to have any challenge at all. But learning how to fail and what to do when you fail is probably the most important thing a tutorial can teach you, right? Um, what happens when I die? So having enough challenge in there that you know bad players are likely to die um and then have a learning experience is actually a good thing so um but it doesn't have to be dark souls right so there but there is a line between like what retail wow has become and in how easy it is versus you know what it what i think it should be in order to teach players important things five and the experience is level 10 
cool board treasures. Nice, dude. Rod. Yeah, and he knew that. He knew that thing was on his his radar, right? Easy game, dude. What an easy game, dude. That was all me, by the way. That was hunt. That was totally me. So I'm already yeah. level. See what a um, this was. This is something that can be for explorers, right? Uh, that, that gives you your sense of world and it rewards exploration. People that look all over the map for hidden treasure chests, putting them on the map again. And I mentioned this a long time ago. It's been a recurring theme, but don't point out where all the special things are. Let people go find the special things. Bring that sense of exploration back. Um, uh, that, it, I, and, and I'm not sure what the design philosophy is behind putting it on the map. You know, like this, this. It, it creates a, like, I guess you could argue, I'm trying to t play devil's advocate here, but I, I guess you could argue that we need you to get that loot because we, we balance the game around you getting all the loot that's in this on the screen. But it, that's a stretch, you know, like, again, it's like, leave something for the explorers, leave something for the people that, you know, devour these, these zones and every nook and cranny available give them extra loot because of the extra work they put in uh, let the people that are blitzing through miss that loot that creates a um, a different type of experience for different types of players some people like to go beeline right through and get to the end as quick as possible and they're going to miss out on stuff that's on the sides and then there's people that love to explore the sides and consume the entire thing and that's a different type of player and they feel really good because they picked up all the extra stuff right um yeah, that stuff should feel hidden. It should feel like a reward for exploring. Um, you shouldn't feel entitled to, I, I passed through this zone, therefore all the stuff that's available on the zone should be given to me just kind of automatically. So move away from that sort of expectation. Five, and the experience is level 10. Cool board treasures. Nice, dude. Rotted quill board fetish. <laughs> That's a really good one. So the this is the ogre ones. area. Okay. Well, he was right. Now, where's the rest of the expedition? So I guess some of this probably isn't voice acted yet. Yeah, I got that those? one. Thanks for saving my life. Yeah, sure, dude. Okay, and use the Scout-O-Matic to find Henry Alrighty Garrick. Alrighty then. Okay. Hey. How do I do that? Be seeing you. Oh shit. The fuck? All right. Okay. It has a oh. camera. Then why does anyone need to be up there? As a backup, of course. What if the machine were to break? Oh shit! Wait, this is a raid boss. It's High Imperator. Quiet. I see something. Okay. So you've got the ogres that are collaborating with the uh, the scourge now. Oh shit. Fuck, dude, that's the big boy right there. The full force of the Alliance will rain down upon you. He just walks off screen. <laughs> the dude just sick the eyes. I don't have time for this, dude. I'm done. Great cinematic. Really good there. Okay, let's keep moving. We have to stop the sacrifice. But okay. it would take an army to get through all of the undead. Or science. The resizer can enlarge one of the nearby boars so it can trample all the monsters flat. My son's life is on the line. Wait, so we're actually going to use this thing to resize a boar. All right, let's do it. Hi, how are Okay, you? let's get the resize in work. Use the Off resizer the and three wandering boars. Okay, use it on this one coming. right here. And... Ooh, it's a battle pet now. Okay, next. 
Okay, um, there we go. Eureka, a giant boar. Oh, there he is. Okay. Turn. <laughs> yeah, I'm turning them into chonkers, man. Okay, let's get my son back. There we go. And ride the giant boar and destroy the undead army. Okay. Shield block. You we know what I do with, with that? Army. Throw it away. The rest of you, push forward and set I only camp attack. Clear the, path. the best defense is a good offense. Okay. So do I just run everybody over? Order the board to trample. It's the only way to take down the larger ones. Okay. Oh, what the fuck? That's awesome. Dude. This is actually cool. What the fuck? This is an actual cool low level quest. Something's happening to the boar. Hang on, recruit. Uh-oh. What's happening to my boar? It's throbbing. We've oh. dealt with the undead. Now let's finish off the Giant Save my boar. Son. I see. Tacos, where is they? So he shrank in size now. Thank you, Jenny Neville. Okay, I guess we might as well go talk to him. It's raining tacos. Alrighty. We'll kill Torgok here. Look at this. Auto attacking the victory. Oh, wow, that did a lot of damage. God damn. Soul Grasp, 43 damage. Yeah, again, auto attacking the victory. He had the NPC helper, right? But there's literally no way to lose. Um. Yeah. Okay. And now they're reunited at last. Thank you, stranger. It's so funny too, because the other the other thing, the other thing about low challenge, I guess, again playing devil's advocate here, is they worry that with people lose or fail in some way, they're going to get frustrated and quit the game, right? Um, but I feel like early parts of the game, it's important to test people. It's important to, because that, that can do one of two things. Yes, it can cause them to quit, but if they're going to quit at that point, they're never going to make it right through all the levels and all the challenges that the game is going to offer. They're going to quit. They're always right around the corner from quitting, right? Um, and the other group of people are going to be like, oh, it's on now. You know, they're going to be like, oh man, okay. I got to figure out what these buttons do. Like it's going to, it's going to invest them so much further because they took that first defeat and after actually have to figure out, you know, how do I get past this? It's going to engage their mind. It's going to pull them away from Netflix or whatever they're doing on the second screen. Right. And uh, it's it's gonna it's gonna engage them. It's going to immerse them further. So it's, it's actually really important. I thought I was gonna be punished for my failure to save my friends. I'm relieved that I was mistaken. Yeah. The, the other thing I'll say about that is um, trying to sustain a game design where you're keeping players that quit from any adversity um is a really bad path to be on right like if you're if you're set on trying to keep those players right if that's your philosophy well we got to keep those players you know we got to keep them paying and playing right um the amount of work you have to do and the amount of damage you have to do to the game and the process to make sure that they never ever meet any adversity of any kind um is just oof, it's it's a rough road to be on it's a whole different set of challenges and yeah you won't be particularly proud of the game design work you do mother i'm sorry i tried to fight the ogres but they were too strong henry always remember that you're more than your mistakes now private garrick i want a full situation report okay he's wearing a dress it's 2020 uh, they need sacrifices like us to feel their magic. They're about to start a ritual that... Uh-oh. Uh, it looks like the middle one. They need to replace the light bulb on the middle ritual. It's already begun. They're gonna use the life force they gathered to reanimate the dragon. 
Oh shit, okay. We need to move quickly. Put a stop to these rituals before ogres can complete them. Let's go. Alrighty. <laughs> uh, purchase any item from the Quartermaster Reicher and sell any of your items to her. Oh, so this teaches you how to buy and sell items. That's a good idea. Yeah, that, that's a really good idea. I like that a lot. So, Safe travel. this is a good decision that Blizzard did. I'm glad about this a lot. Oh, great. Now I have my alliance to Bard. And let's see. Oh, I need to put on my gloves and my boots. Great. Uh, can you level up in Northshire anymore? After you do this once on, uh, for like, if you don't have a max level character, I, I don't remember how you have to do it, like what, what the rule is, but yes, you can just level up at level one. There, there's an option to do this or not. All stocked up, that's great. Private Cole and Quartermaster Richard also found this bag in nearby ruins. Okay, I got a knapsack, that's great. And now I've got three quests. Okay, speak with a strange ghost at Dark Mile Bridge. Learns execute, yep. Okay. I was scouting an area with Lindy's device, and I saw a ghost offering power to any true warriors. All right. It's like, oh, is there no one who can... Class quest is cool. A uh, little bit of individual, you know, love and care. Um, not worth, of course. Like, I would trade... Like, I think race is more important in terms of starting experience, like making you feel like... Because there's a lot more culture involved with race than there is with class. So from a starting experience, like I'd rather you be surrounded by dwarves, for example, um, again, then like if you had to pick when, which one were you gonna, you were gonna put your resources into developing, make you feel like a dwarf rather than make you feel like a warrior is I think the more important thing. And these are conversations we had back in the day when developing the starting experience for WoW. Grant me glory and death. Oh shit. All right. It, it, it is really, really cringy in my opinion. People that are like, they intentionally queue up to fight bad players. You are no legendary hero, but I see the potential within you. Uh, stand still. I shall make you my, I shall make my most powerful technique known to you, and then I implore you to end my suffering. Okay. Slay Hajimar the Undying. You must use Execute in order to truly kill him. I'm ready to fight you, Hajimar. I'll give you your warrior's death with Execute. I'm only gonna auto attack him. I'm not gonna. I'm just. I'm gonna shield slam him to death. This is interesting. Not not phasing the two. Um... It is awkward that you're you're seeing two warriors fight it out, but it's also kind of a shared experience again. Like they can compare notes or they can talk about, they can learn from each other. They can talk about what happened and they can say that was cool or that was lame or, you know, whatever it is. So it's kind of nice, you know, that even though it's awkward that there's two of them fighting uh, at the same time, not phasing here does a lot of good things. And so I think it's, um, I think, again, it's like that, does it make for a better game? Probably not. Slightly worse game, much better on the social end, right? So it's all, always about balancing those three pillars. All right, can only be killed if hit with the warrior skill execute. Let's see what happens if I don't use execute. Probably just going to go down to zero health, right? Like, I'm, I'm like 99% sure that's what's going to happen. Yeah, this dude can be like, dude, you got to execute him, right? Obviously, he's doing it because intentionally, but this guy could be like, I figured it out. And this guy could be like, oh, man, how do you do this? He won't die. What's the matter? What am I doing wrong? He didn't read the quest text, dude. Read the quest text, for God's sake. Okay. Or he can just run off because the next Mythic Plus awaits him. <laughs> He ain't got time for this noob. Yeah, I have to use execute. There we got go. This car. Okay, um, we got it. Now let me go turn in the other quest. It's Rarity, our oh. mage. We have to rescue her. Why? Okay, the harpy problem. Ooh, got a level. 
Okay, rescue this guy and set fire to the totems. Patience. And then I'll pick this Patience. one up too. All right, let's go kill this rare too. I, I enjoy raiding and, and doing that in classic. Yeah, I, I do. I mean, I'm not a classic hater. I'm not a classic Andy. I, I like the game a lot. I enjoy it. But I recognize that there are, you know, things that it doesn't have that retail does have. And, uh, you know, retail is... Oh! New content. Expeditionary plate arm guards. Alliance only. Nice. Oh, this is the mage. Great to meet you. I'll fight the harpies that come. Can Keep you use your, your map? How are you? Okay. All right, let's go. And we'll kill these. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's kill this guy. Um, oh, the model for this looks really nice. Uh, it's like an updated, uh, updated raven. Okay, there we go. Got him. Terror of the skies. <laughs> Chat's just like, mount, please. Everything you see has to be a mount ASAP. I just love it. <laughs> well, maybe you should have stayed in the air. Okay, we got all the quests done. For you, Shadow Ends equals WoW 2. Well, no, because you still have, like... No, it, it's not WoW 2. Speak. <laughs> it, it's just not. Stay okay, uh, let's turn these in, Be turn good. that one in, and I might actually get my level here. Ooh, I got my, uh, almost got my other level. Okay, and... Wait. Oh, I got the belt. I get the boots next one. What the fuck is this? I am Light Incarnate. The light spawn blesses you, granting you a 60% speed boost by 10 minutes. Well, this seems really good. Uh, use the light spawn's light to dispel nearby necrotic energy. <coughs> vroom, vroom. I see the... Yeah, I see your question about uh, or the hot bar. Uh, level 6 or level 8, he has a full hot bar. Level 8 is like the new 45, right? Or whatever the translation is. Uh, because of the level squish. And But yeah, generally speaking, they... They give you 10 levels um, out of this new player experience, and it's really fast. Like, we were giving you... What were we giving you? Yeah, it's it's almost four times as fast, right? Because we were leveling you faster or slower and only giving you new abilities every other level. Sometimes you got two, but it was rare. Um, so, yeah, they're trying to get you... Like, cause like dead mines opens up at level seven. And so that's the consideration that was like, that was one of our considerations any, at least when we were making vanilla was by the time the first dungeon rolls around and you can legitimately go into a dungeon, you have to have enough of your mechanics to be a team player, right? To bring something to the table that helps you fulfill your role, whether it's taunt, defensive stance, polymorph, you know, whatever it is that you're, that's going to make you feel like you've got a job, right? You fit into a larger group structure. And so, I mean, he's already one level past when you can theoretically pop dead mines open and start going in. If I remember, it was at level seven, you could start doing that, which is also really awkward for the pacing of this whole experience because they want you to do the dungeon at the end, which they throw at you at level 10. And by then, you've theoretically already been to... A bunch of dungeons so um yeah it's 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 weird that they accelerate things so massively but again that's always kind of been their thing is let's get you to the end game let's get you to let's get you to rating as soon as possible so um i'm not sure what the rate is like after you leave this experience in terms of getting up to level 50 which is the new ready for the expansion content level. He doesn't have taunt until level 14, yeah. So that that's a to me that's a problem, right? Like is the warrior equipped to do his job by the time he's asked to do dungeons, which is now level 7. And it sounds like no. And my priest had a couple of heals, so he was ready. He had damage and he had power word shield and he had a heal. So he was ready. Um, but, uh, yeah, the warrior needs to be able to tank. And that basically means, um, it means taunt more than it means mitigate damage, but both of those things are important, right? So defensive stance and taunt are the sort of the two things, but.
but uh, yeah, pretty interesting. Do that. Okay, so let's go click on I guess this one here. Uh, Alrighty. Uh, so you can go to Northern at level one. I don't think so. Uh, I don't know exactly how it works. After I do this, I'll I'll let you guys know. Let me know. Okay, this releases him. The spell is weakening. The light returns to me. Okay, great. So we have to play connect the dots with this elemental. I defend the light. Oh, that's cool. So now I. All right, we gotta look up when was righteous defense. Righteous Defense, level 14. That was your taunt. <laughs> Sorry you didn't know how to use it. <laughs> now I get to run fast. We saved right? Merity. All oh. thanks to this recruit. Good work. This is now get some rest. Okay. We'll find the other soon. Cool. Uh, it sounds like you had an adventure. Uh, I really did. It was incredible. Uh, I went up to a thing and I clicked the button. Okay. Um, <laughs> it was an adventure. Oh, all the people doing yo, I wonder if the guy that we just killed, I wonder if we'll see him in the Shadowlands. I just thought of that. That'd actually be really cool if they did that. Yeah, that'd be fucking awesome. Okay, uh, let's go over here. Uh, rescue five trapped expedition members. All right. Blessings upon your family. Spiders. Should I just jump down? Hell yeah. Oh, there you go. Okay. Oh, I bet I, bet I can make this jump. <sighs> oh, shit. Dark Souls training. I was really off. close. All right. So this cave actually looks really well designed. Look at this. This is nice. This is really nice. Not popular, though. Okay, so do I have to go back and turn this in? Defeat Huron and rescue Ralia. I'm going to assume H-Run is some sort of guy at the bottom of the pits inside the little chamber here. Right? Calculated. And, uh, so I've got this guy right here. He's got, like, the shaman armor from Legion. Uh, he does look pretty fucking cool. And so I guess we've got to save her here. Ride Rally a Dream Chaser I to escape? Wait, I get to ride her? Oh, ah. Fuck. <laughs> yeah, this is... This is probably more thematic than most of the other things they've made. These poor creatures, we cannot stop to help them. They're spiders, Rally. -a. Fuck them. Yeah, we don't care about that. Yeah, this is actually pretty cool. And then she jumps up there, and we make it all the way back up. All right, great. By the light. Fuck yeah. Okay, so now what? Completed that, and the music randomly got deleted, and we'll go forward. Oh shit, this dude's got a thousand health. Okay, I, can I beat this guy? Oh, the bear, okay. Did he show the sign? I don't think so. Anyway, this bear has a, the quest is outside. Yeah, Kill Claw the Terrible. Um, it's suggested players five, and that's a mistake because um, this tutorial, you're lucky if you run into anyone in the tutorial and, and like day one is going to be busy. And then every day after that's probably going to be less busy, right? And eventually it's going to be, there's going to be nobody, right? So your best bet is from a design perspective is trying to get a person to make form one relationship have one social experience before they get out of this area um and so setting a suggest players five is a mistake it's too ambitious from a design um a design standpoint and it's also the kind of thing where like if you're running around and you see suggested players five you might be intimidated you might be like well i'm never going to get five people so I'm not even going to try to kill this bear. I'm just going to move on. You don't want that either. Um, you want people to to see the two, feel like it's a reachable objective, try to get somebody to help out, or feel like, oh, maybe I'm good enough. Maybe I can solo it, you know? Um, and then you put in 
you put in some mechanics on the bear that help split the difference, like have it be high damage, but say always attack the guy with the most health. Um, he has like a little charge stun, which is really good for uh, duo mechanics. And uh, you can feel like, oh man, this thing hits like a truck, but you're kind of safe because you can leverage both health bars effectively, even without trying. Um, but yeah, try to make this an experience that is achievable and and then also let good players just solo it and feel like they're amazing, right? Is also a good thing. So suggested two players, I think, is the right is the right place for this uh, this bear quest to be. Gotta do the jump. All right, good. I'm just kiting them around. Oh yeah, I forgot. I do have the health pots. Shit. All right, we're good. Moving out of the way. I'm going in. I'm going in. Got him. There it is, boys. Easy. I can't believe I was able to solo that. That was crazy. Oh, that, that light quest. I didn't comment on that. I hate that light quest. It gives everyone the speed buff for 10 minutes. It's like... Uh, <laughs> it's like they, they got to a point where the, the tutorial area, which is tiny, right, compared to what world of warcraft encompasses in terms of playable space and they were like oh it's taking people too long to get around we got to give them a 60 percent speed buff for 10 minutes otherwise they're going to be super annoyed right um but again it's like that that creates the dynamic of the explorers get to feel like they're going places that other people aren't going because the world is big right um the world is like not everyone has been to the places they're going because they're taking the time to run around and find all the little nook, um, nooks and crannies, right? So I hate this speed buff because it's like it's just this constant reminder that everything has to be fast, everything has to be immediate, no one has any patience, there's no room for explorers in the game. Um, and I just really don't like it. Okay, wait, hey! Yo, this guy's got Azeroth's champion! Holy shit! Why, uh, am I like the only guy on the game that doesn't have this? Oh, wow! This is the Aspirant gear that they took out of the game from the beginning of BFA. So we're actually going to be able to get it back. That's fucking awesome. I was worried that I'd never be able to get that. Okay, uh, Dark Mall Citadel. All right, you're a good actor. I hope you're a good actor. Yeah, I stream on Twitch. Um, because you're going on a very important stage. All right. Have Merindi transform you. Oh, shit. Into an ogre, then scout the nearby ogre citadel. All right, Merindi. Do your worst. Here we go. Look up every mob uh, you killed, some in dungeons and shadowlands, right, guilt tripping your character. Just act like an ogre and get us inside the citadel. Yeah, that'd be pretty funny. Don't use big words. In fact, don't say anything at all. Just smile and wave. Because ogres are dumb. Oh, wait. Oh, he's imprisoning them. Go to cooking pit. Wave at Gorgoth. Show what you got. Keep moving. Let's see what we can learn about the ritual. Ooh. Oh. Wait, you actually have to wave at him. Do you have to wave at this fat fuck? What do we have here? Yeah, you can also dance. I don't know if he slash dances, but I love that. That was a really nice touch that you can slash dance with him and they all start doing the Farley dance. Um, super cool. I love it when because that's a that's a type of exploration uh, as well, like interaction exploration. And that's rewarded. And that's the kind of thing they should be doing for the traditional form of exploration as well. Pretty good. Pipe slash wave. Yep. We All right. We lost. I'm going to spit on him. <laughs> I'm going to see if any, any of the other emotes do anything. Pet? How about moan? He moans suggestively at Goroth. That doesn't work. 
uh, dance. This one got some moves. You dance. Good. Oh shit! Oh shit! I think, I think you're taking the ogre act a got little him. too far. Yeah right, dude. Yeah right. <laughs> Y'all run this game. Yeah, there's a little Easter egg right there. It's crazy. Okay. Uh, well, all right. Now let's wave at him. Okay. Take them to the back. There we go. We'll that is cool. Seal them with the wardstones like we did their leader. Okay. It is time to complete oh, the he ritual disappeared. atop the citadel. Then all will bow before us. All right, let's go. We're going into uh High Mall. Oh, there we go. Chat wants that ogre playable race. Oof, I feel it. I feel it. Go. Okay. We're close to stopping all of this. We just need to push a little further. Uh, recover the ward sons from Jug, Nug, Wug, and Grunk. And then use them to free. Okay. Slay eight ogres oh, and blow up four catapults. Alright, let's do it. <laughs> Jug Nug. <laughs> New accounts have to go through BFA. You won't have any chromie options in alpha. Tell we already tried. New accounts have to go through BFA? I don't know about that. Wrong? Well, t I, I mean, that's what Tally tried. I mean, I'll try it in myself in a minute, and we'll see. Bubbling isn't bad. Makes sense to understand the story. Yeah, it does make sense. Like, I, I really don't like BFA leveling. But... It does, I mean, it, it does kind of make sense. Yeah, you got him another bag there. Um... Trying to see if I can see. But his bag space, like, they crushed my bag space um, in, the, in this tutorial long before I had any need of it. Like, I had four out of five bags, and I, had, I generally had three or four pieces of loot. Like, that was it. I never once did I fill my first bag. So, um... That used to be one of those things it was just like you were super excited to get that second bag right like small brown bag was just like loot you know miracle in classic or vanilla right because you were always pressured you create the pressure and then you alleviate the pressure and then um it also ha makes you start to make value judgments on everything you're picking up right which is a really important piece of the economy it's another little game you can learn to master um, if you're not good at other things, you might be, um, you might be really good at knowing the values of everything. So you make money faster, right? That's another way you can excel at the game. So, uh, but they've, they've taken that out, which is sad. Sense. That is true. Oh yeah. Just to answer your question, Pentelligist. Um, we did, we had two elements. We had the, we had the, um, the class quest series and the race quest, the life quest, we used to call it. Um, that's what we originally wrote up. The problem with, and, and we got some of that in, some of both of those in. The problem with it was we were so, uh, we were so desperate for content that the quests that we always ended up focusing on were first and foremost, the quest that every player in the game could do. So. Um, the best quest in terms of production time was always Horde Alliance, you know, that anyone could do. The second best was one that only the Horde could do or one that only the Alliance could do. And then it was um, class and race, right? And so because those were so low on the, you know, best use of time, they tended to get pushed, right? But they have, they do so much work in making you feel like you're a specific person, you're a specific thing that's important, and um, it reinforces your role in the world. That it's they're really nice, but yeah, like Silithus just wasn't done, right? So um, it's like, what should we have focused on? Should we have sacrificed another couple of zones <laughs> so that we could have? been able to get like the dwarf and troll story quests you know all the way through so it was a, it was a tough thing to actually finish but we did have plans all along 
And again, we got some of that in, but um, yeah, we didn't get as nearly as much as we had hoped. What? He got the mace? He better not have gotten that out of the box, dude. Welcome I better be about to get this. I got legs? Okay, what about this? I just got, oh man, dude. Oh, this is a dungeon. Uh, Gorgroth's plan is, a, is to use a ritual to revive a powerful dragon, uh, Ravenir. Uh, he works within the Citadel here, plotting and scheming. You've all thwarted his efforts by saving myself and my crew. We must storm into the Citadel and slay this vile ogre. His foul necromancy is a blight upon the light. We will need all the help we can get. Gorgoth's most elite ogres await within the Citadel. And I get a helmet for this. All right, let's go. All right, I'm going to talk to her, use the group finder, and enter the dungeon. Oh, so it tells you. All right, so let's talk about this final thing. Um, and this one's complicated. It really is. So I guess I'll start with what are the objectives? What are the objectives of, of running a dungeon at the end of the experience? Um, okay, so one of the, the objectives is teach people how to use this screen, right? Teach people how to get into a dungeon group, right? To know that the opportunity is there, the option is there. It's weird that it's it's throwing you this information as early as level 7 when the tutorial is taking you to 10. Because he's level 10 here as well, I was too. Um, before throwing you into, what's it called? It's like Dread Mall Citadel. I don't think it's on the list, but... Yeah, there's so many um there's so many options here that there's some fine tuning they have to do there some polish they have to do there so if they intend this to be the tutorial dungeon experience it should be the first one that comes available by whatever means um because otherwise you're going to throw them in and they're going to fumble through it and then be taught how to use it long after that um so that's, I guess that's one objective is teach players that they have this option and they can do it. The other thing is uh, how to do things within a dungeon. Um, what is your role? How do you perform that role? That would be another objective I could see in having a dungeon experience. Um, and there's two parts to that, how to play your character, you know, properly to perform your role. And also the social experience, the social demands of being in a dungeon group right understanding how to manage you know a wide variety of personalities a wide variety of skill sets you know people yelling at you for sucking people demanding that you switch to a different you know spec or you know whatever it is like to play better to play differently um to get into groups that are good and amazing like that's also another thing right so to sort of get your get your toes wet you know, dip your toes in this experience that is extremely vital to um, the World of Warcraft experience, you know, uh, and especially for uh, retail, because retail is all about rating and things like that. Um, so figuring out how to navigate, yeah, arguing over loot, exactly. Um, although that doesn't happen because it's all personal loot, right? But <laughs> that used to be something back in the day. But that would be another goal is to teach people how to do that. So uh, I would see that as really important objective uh, for this for this um, this part of the tutorial. Um, and and then this is how they've executed that plan. And it see and I could be totally wrong, but you go into a queue when you select this dungeon, and after a minute it put me into a group with with two other npcs the uh captain garrick and the sun the sun is a, a healer he's a priest and garrick is a tank she she tanks it so you're automatically dps i was a priest but i um i was basically pigeonholed into just doing damage right so the experience one felt no different from a game perspective and a role perspective because uh, they had the aggro on the thing and were doing all the healing. So all I had to do was DPS, which is no different than a solo fight, right? Uh, it's actually less 
a, a tutorial or teaching experience because the thing wasn't even fighting back than a solo experience. Um, so it's failing that objective to teach me how to do the thing that I'm supposed to be doing potentially. All it's and it's just it's just making it so I I throw damage at something which I've already learned how to do because I've gotten to this point. So it's failing in that respect. It's not teaching me how to heal or tank or do anything like that. Um, I don't even remember drawing aggro, right? So that's another thing that a DPS needs to know is what do I do when I draw aggro? That never happened either. So they failed to teach that moment. Um, and, and second, the social element, they were NPCs, right? So I didn't learn anything from that. And it also created an expectation that when I push that button and there aren't people around, maybe it'll throw me in with NPCs, which is a, you know, an incorrect and, and kind of a dangerous assumption as well. Um, that I don't need people to, to play this game. I don't, I don't need to worry about that. Or um, the game is, you know, that got, got that weird sense of automation to it. That could be a huge turnoff to people as well. Um, so I, I'm not sure what the objectives are. I stated what I think the objective should be, but the execution is failing both of those objectives pretty badly. Um, and it, it's in a tricky place because the one minute timer to NPC thing, like let's say they change that to five minutes, it's still unlikely for a tutorial experience to deliver a group experience especially after the first days right of the new expansion like again it's this this new area is going to be very popular day one and then it's going to fall in popularity every day after that so eventually you're going to be stuck waiting in this long queue to do this dungeon thing and you're going to feel blocked or or there's huge obstacle in your way to you know keep progressing because uh, there's nobody around right which is a really bad feel for a game that's trying to hook you in a way that's based on a combination of this is a game but it's also a really social experience there's tons of people playing right and here you are sitting at a queue your first dungeon and there's nobody around it makes you feel like there's nobody playing this game right and that's another important element of the social system that's failing is um, one of the things we did was we made the chat channels, the general channels and the zone channels big enough so that when you first logged into the game, even if it were a month after the game released, you would still pick up a lot of the chat from Elwyn Forest. And there's probably people in Elwyn. Um, you might pick up, you know, some of the spill out from Stormwind, which was a neighboring, you know, place. Uh, but you would almost instantly feel like there were a lot of people playing this game. And that's really important because you want to feel like this is the place to be. This is the game to be playing. Look how many people are playing and talking. And even if I'm not interacting with them at all, you want to feel their presence. You want to know that there are people around because it just makes you feel like you're in the place. Um, and this this uh, tutorial has the, because it's disposable, because no one returns to it, because um, it's heavily phased or heavily instanced, um, you're going to feel like it's going to be really barren a lot of times and you're going to feel really isolated and that's going to be your first experience in what's supposed to be a social game and it's going to feel bad you, you got to make people feel like they're surrounded by people uh, this world is heavily trafficked um, and heavily populated not too heavily populated there's a there's definitely a fine line but so Again, this is an extension of that, like this dungeon plan that it's almost going to point out how few people there there actually are in this world, in this particular place, right? And that's a really bad thing. So I'm not sure the dungeon thing is, is the right thing to do in this tutorial, because I think the drawback of failure is pretty bad. Um, but I would also say that there are some worthwhile objectives with the dungeon thing, but they're really failing to meet those objectives with the current execution. So um, I'd revisit, you know, what it is exactly they're trying to accomplish with this and try to focus the design around making those things, making those things happen. You had to do this. This is cool. 
Um, I don't think they should do it this way. Yeah, I, I don't think they should do it this way because it's all the way down at the bottom. And it's conf I think this is confusing. Yeah, it not being on this this opt this starting list is also a huge miss, right? This is the one you're supposed to be doing, and it wasn't even on the list. So he's 100% right. Um, that's that's a huge miss. Confusing. Personally, I think this is confusing because a new player is gonna probably like they're probably just gonna click on dead mines or something like that, and. I think Dark Maul should be at the top. Oh, we got it. Okay. Okay, time to go AFK. All right, guys, listen up. All right, so he got an actual legitimate group. That's pretty awesome. Yeah, I got shoved into NPCs. I wonder how fast, how long it took him to get into this thing. Because, like, a minute is... A minute's too short to shove you know to shove me into npc land but it can't be too long otherwise you feel like it's really barren right so it, it it's it's all the the idea is almost doomed to fail it just has so many failure points and those failure points feel really bad so it's yeah it's uh, really fragile the design is really fragile gorgroth's top lieutenants can we really defeat him? Yeah, I think we're we gonna manage. We have come this far to quit now. Recruit, you lead the attack. I'll charge in after you. Okay. All right. Wait, I said for me Our to do it, not you. On... All right, world first, boys. Let's do it. Oh, Shield Sam doesn't generate rage. No time to waste. Tongue's we got trunk. Cornered. Oh, so you actually get... Bro, hey. Hey. Yo. Can I get that? No, 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 man. Come on. Why, like, hey, yo, listen. That's a that's a nice item. Fury was dog shit and what? Yeah, I didn't enjoy it. Oh shit. German, you will not stop the ritual. This is cool. Not after all we have done. Yeah, this this is cool. What do you guys think? I wonder if you can jump off. Okay, it doesn't show where I need to go. All right. Oh, I gotta fight him now. All right, let's go, boys. Will destroy you all. Let's do it. Now, everyone, for the alliance. For the alliance, guys. All hands on deck. You can do this. We will be the final sacrifice. Oh shit. Now, for the alliance, I really wonder what the horde version of this is gonna be like. Is this still gonna be like? A poor orc complaining that his mommy needs to come and save him. <laughs> I mean, what a different tone. <laughs> the horde one would have to take, you know, in order to feel right. Oh shit! Don't give up. We can still. Win. Oh shit! All right, we're fighting the uh, the dragon. Holy shit! Got him. Okay, I'm reporting that's a bug. <laughs> All right, we've got the necklace and, ooh, wow, look at that cloak. What does the cloak look like? Uh, okay, it looks fucking stupid. Holy <laughs> shit. Speak to me whenever you're ready to go back to the Citadel. We need to find a way back to Stormwind. Thank you very much, I appreciate that. All right, we saved the world. Let's talk to him. Let's get out of this citadel and figure out how to get back home. All right, damage is cosmetic. Okay, now what? Nice. Look, Alliance reinforcements. Wow. We're saved. The Griffins. There ye are. We've been trying to get through. I guess the um, this was being worked on at the same time that the collapsing tower thing was being worked on that they criticize them for being too much like Lord of the Rings because uh yeah I wouldn't follow <laughs> I wouldn't follow that moment with another Lord of the Rings moment through they storm to reach you I can't do that anymore all right it seems like things are finally looking up for us I think it's time for us to go back to Stormwind all right ride an Alliance Griffin to Stormwind City 
Let's go. Any mobs there? Yeah, it's just probably nothing. Okay. The island you saw was the island in Stormheim, so in the flight path. Oh! So I start right here. Where was it? Let's go. Any mobs there? Yeah, it's just probably nothing. Alright. This is where it is. I take it back. It's totally right here on the map. Had to be somewhere again. Uh, somewhere, I guess. <laughs> okay. The island you saw was the island in Stormheim, so in the flight path. Oh! So I start right here. Okay, right at the gates of Stormwind. And all the friends he made are gone. Him and Roger could have been friends for life. Or at least a new viewer, you know? I mean, geez, give a streamer a break. So that's the end. Yeah. Uh, like, generally speaking, I think the new the new tutorial is kind of a failure um it does some things okay it definitely goes through the checklist of like cool mechanics that their quest designers have access to so you get to do a lot of fun different things that's nice um the zone is 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 good like the i should say the terrain looks nice um it's well laid out the music is great uh, but it feels kind of barren, like there's not a lot going on. It's, it doesn't feel very dangerous at all. Um, part of that is because of the just general like math behind the, the combat, but also because things don't aggro enough. Like it's not full of stuff. Um, there aren't places you can go to get into. It's just really hard to get killed. That's a combination of things, spawning, combat, math, you know, etc. But, um, yeah, which, you know, again, I understand the you want to go easy on new players. Obviously, we're all experts, and so that kind of thing is not going to challenge us ever. But there is a fine line between challenging us and challenging a new player. And I think it's well beyond, well below the level of challenging a new player. And shouldn't be the goal to like not challenge them or not test them in any way. So anyway, there you have it. Thanks for watching. Um, that's what I think about the new areas. Uh, get back to the core pillars. Make sure every design decision you make that improves or tries to improve the sense of game at the very least doesn't cause damage to the social elements of the game or the sense of world. And I think right now that tutorial has done a fair bit of damage to both the other sense of world and social systems. So it's not worth it. It's not better than what we already have, which is just starting in Cold Ridge Valley and killing trolls with, you know, with a, uh, with a dwarf or a gnome, you know, doing gnome stuff, being around dwarfs, dwarf stuff, um, feeling like a dwarf and expanding your personal experience and personal journey from there. So there's a lot, there's a lot of benefits still from the old style. But uh, anyway, thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time. Please leave a like and uh, subscribe if you're new. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Come by and say uh, hi on Twitch. I'm at uh, twitch.tv slash Kevin Jordan. Take care.